this is Chad Garber, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to play Blue Collar Man by Styx. Here are the parts. <laughs> goes to the solo and then we go into the something very similar to that. If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more. Alright, let's get into this. There's quite a bit of chords. This song is so awesome. The, just, the guitar in this song is under, underrated, or at least under... I just love this song. I think the guitar parts are amazing. Alright, so let's get into it. It's a lot of bar chords. Um, at the very beginning, it's actually the keyboard going... Dee -dee 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 -dee, but I just did it for you. You can always do it this way. You'll have to learn this at the end anyway, so you can do a bar chord with your pointer finger starting on the 5th uh, fret of the A string and your ring finger on the 7th fret of the D string and slide your pointer to your slide of the power chord with your pointer, your pointer finger on the 8th fret of the A string and the 10th fret of the D string then you do that same thing, go back to that um, the 5th the one and all the way to, then you go to take your pointer finger to the 10th fret of the A string and your Bring finger to the twelfth fret of the D string, and then back down to the other one. You know, and it's kind of hard to do that twice. Because you're kind of you're kind of strumming up on the on the on the second time around. You start like. On the second way, you, get, you start strumming up. I guess you don't have to. Yeah, 
I'm done. You just do it the same way both times. I don't know why I was making it more difficult than I needed to. Okay, so that's the first part. All right, and then well, actually when the keyboard's going, you do this little thing. And so you're in the D, you're in a D minor pentatonic uh, key, and so you're just doing the, uh, you know, your pointer finger or my middle finger is on the twelfth fret of the G string, and you bend it and go bend it up a little bit, and then back down. And then you just hold it vibrato. And the longer you can hold that, the better. If you can, you know, if you have a good amp and good distortion, you can make it last long, and then you can actually do some harmonics like he does. My amp's not uh, as stored, distorted enough as it is right now. All right, so, so then you go into this part. And all that is is you take your middle finger and put it on the um, seventh fret of the D with your, with your middle finger. Then hit, use your pinky to go, go to the eighth fret of the D. So your pointer finger hit it on the uh, fifth fret of the G. Then take your ring finger and hit it on the seventh fret of the G. And use your middle finger to hit the sixth fret of the B. And then down, use your pointer finger on the fifth fret of the G of the B. And then back down to your middle fingers on the seventh fret of the of the G. And then your pointer fingers back on the fifth fret of the G. So. And then back to the where your pointer your ring fingers on the seventh fret of the G. It's kind of like it's a mixture of a um, Phrygian mode and the Aeolian mode, if you care about that. But that's this part is the Phrygian part, and this part is the Aeolian. So anyway, you listen to the high octave the first time, okay? Then it goes into the verse, okay? And the verse is just a that's a D power chord. And all that is is that um, put your pointer finger on the fifth fret of the A and your ring finger on the seventh fret of the D. Then you do a G, a major chord, which is just your pointer finger over all the strings of the third fret. Take your middle finger, put it on the uh, fourth fret of the G string, and your ring finger on the fifth fret of the A and your pinky on the fifth fret of the D. <laughs> Then you hit that, which is your pointer finger on this, the first fret of the A and the, your ring finger on the third fret of the D. And you slide that up two frets with your pointer fingers on the first fret of the, the, the third fret of the A and your ring fingers on the fifth fret of the D. And all the way back to the top. Then you do an A, which is your pointer finger on the first fret of the D. The second fret of the D and open A, and then so now I'm going to call for for now I'm going to call these the chords. Okay, it's a bar chord. It's a D bar 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 chord, G major, C, B flat, and then so D, G sharp, D, G major. You go. You take your. You pick your pointer and hit the hit the um, second fret of the A, and then the first fret of the A. With your ring middle finger and then your first finger. With your pointer finger. And actually, what I do is I use my pointer finger. I go. I put my pointer finger on the second fret of the A, and then and then slide it down to the first fret of the A. This is such a cool lick. I, mean, I just love all these little licks. I love them. And then you hit an A chord. And then you hit a ring finger hit on the third fret of the E. Put your pointer finger on the first fret of the E and then open E. Alright. And you gotta listen to the guitar to get the rhythm rise a little bit. You know, it's not, it's a little bit 
tricky to get the, the exact rhythm right. So here's the whole thing again. And this is not exactly how he strums it, it's real close. Like. Again, and then it goes back to the chorus. And the chorus is you you use your pointer finger here on the second fret of the G and, and play the just the D and the G strings only. And all this whole chorus is going to use mainly just those two strings, D and the G. So you do that. And then take your uh, ring finger or middle finger, put it on the uh, eighth fret. Of the D of the D string, and take your pointer finger and put it on the seventh fret of the G string. And this is just one way to do it. There's other ways you can do it. This is the way I do it. And then you just put your pointer finger over the seventh, or the fifth fret of the D and the G, and then over the, and then use your middle, middle your ring finger to, over the seventh fret of the D and G. And this next part is my favorite part of the song, I think. Yeah, so it's B flat, C, D. And then you go, so you go B flat to the C, and then hit the open E. Just hit, hit the open E once. So you pick down, 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 down open E, open, open A, open A. does it again. Then it goes into this part. It's a lower, it's a lower um, octave. And all that is, is you put the pointer finger on the first, or the fifth fret of the E. Take your middle finger, hit the second, or the sixth fret of the E. Take your pinky, hit the eighth fret of the E. Put your pointer finger on the fifth fret of the A. Pinky on the seventh on the eighth fret of the D of the, of the A. Take your ring finger, hit the seventh fret of the A. Back to the fifth fret of the A. And then to the eighth fret of the E, and then back to the fifth fret of the A. Again, it's a it's a mix between it's a. That one seems like it's a straight uh, Phrygian lick. It's the same thing that it was. It was the same one we did earlier, but it was higher. So it's it's in the Phrygian Aeolian kind of thing. So it's like, what I do is I go down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down. So it goes. And he goes to the D and the keyboard doing something. And then he goes into this the other part. We learn the same thing, but the higher, the octave higher. And then it goes back to the verse again, but it does something a little different, and, and it's cool enough to, to show you the whole thing. Okay, so the, the second verse is same thing. The same thing. So everything's the same except for one part. And so it's, No, you know you know how you go A, you go to that. Instead of going, you go. What that is is you go, hold your you hold your uh, ring finger over over the twelfth fret of the D and the G, but you're not you're not pressing. You're just holding it. And then you press it. And then you press. You put your pointer finger on the second of the uh, tenth fret of the D and the G. So it sounds like this. So again, it's the same thing as I taught you a second ago, but it's, it adds adds this instead of. Okay, so here's here it is. I love that. All right, so everything else is the same, and then it goes into it goes at the end of that at the end of that thing it goes. What you 
you're gonna, you're gonna go to this next part and you're gonna do a D power chord. C power power chord. And then you're gonna yeah, you're gonna do it on the C, you're gonna please your pinky and go put it on the Sixth fret of the B string. You're still hitting that same C chord, but you have you, know, you have have your pointer finger over all the strings. Okay, then you're gonna. Um, <clears throat> and I'm not sure if this part's exactly right, actually, but it, um, it sounds like it's right. But. Then you move your pinky down to the fifth fret of the B, from the sixth to the fifth. They can take it off of the fifth, take it off this thing, and just use it, and then go back to the fifth. D string with your pointer finger. And then pull off to the open A. Then you take your ring finger, or my, I take my, you can take your uh, middle finger and go from the third fret, the whole thing's on that D string, right? So then the third fret to the second fret. And then to the fifth fret to the third fret. And then to the seventh fret to the fifth fret. And then to the eighth fret to the seventh fret. And you gotta listen to it to get the timing right. It goes back to the C, B flat, then he ends in A, then he goes into the solo over the verse. It's, if you want to jam on it, you can do a D minor pentatonic. And so then it goes back to the chorus. And then it goes into this part. So all you're doing there is you're doing that same thing I showed you earlier. Then you just you, you then you go down to go down to the the sixth fret of the E, but you don't go to the seventh fret of the E. You, you don't go to the fifth, you go to the sixth only. So you, go, you start you start from the sixth instead of the fifth fret. Okay? And then after that the keyboard comes in. And then you gotta you can go you take your pointer finger and hit it on the uh, tenth fret of the D string, bend that up and do the same kind of lick we did at the very beginning. Then you can go and bend the, the part I showed you beginning with begin with. Then it goes. That same thing with my rider retarding. And that is it. So if you like this video and other videos like it, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I uh, thank you so much for watching and have a great day jamming out with sticks. What a great song.